Hey, my name's Sam, and this is my channel, Look Mum No Computer. And for the last year and a half, I've been documenting some of my most recent inventions. It started in the spring of 2016 with this video of a Game Boy Triple Oscillator, which I built into my modular synth. And annoyingly, right now, that machine is in pieces in a box underneath loads of heavy things. It's in that box right there and it's got TVs on it. One day, maybe in the near future, there's a video of me bringing that machine back to life because right now it is literally just a ball of Game Boys and wires that have fallen to pieces. But for the hell of it, whilst we're on Game Boys, for your watching pleasure, here's a fairy Game Boy. Here's a Damonte Game Boy. <laughs> here's a pink Game Boy. Yeah, okay, I'm a bit of a hoarder. Since that Game Boy video, I've had my fair share of dodgy ideas. This one being my favourite. It's Synthike 2.0, and I bashed it together in about a week on top of a 1978 rally chopper, and it's basically a synthesizer and a drum machine on a bike. <laughs> And you may or may not have seen last week, this meme machine, which is my most recent creation. Basically, I've been dreaming of this machine for like seven years. And I kept on saying to people, oh, I've got this idea for a Furby organ. And you know, you could see it in their eyes, they're like, yeah, whatever. And last year, I collected enough Furbies to make it happen. Having just the Furbies wasn't enough because you needed to work out all the technicalities of how to make something like this work. So I made a New Year's resolution to stop making excuses and just make it. And nearly a month and a half later, it's already finished. But I've got a fair few questions of how this meme machine works. So I'm going to run you through it. The funny thing about this organ is I didn't actually know it was going to work up until about the last few hours of uh, finishing it because it wasn't all going to work together unless it was all finished. The first thing I did was um, eyeball a rough dimension of the box and I made it from B&Q's finest plywood. So the first thing you get to when you get over the sheer ridiculousness of all those Furbies is the keyboard. And it's actually a separate piece. And inside here, underneath the hood, is pretty much nothing. The keyboard I tore out of a broken old organ and then I built some wood off cuts around it and put an Arduino Mega in the back that's kind of just wired up to all the buttons and this sends out commands into the bigger machine and then there's a wire that just goes around to the back and then it plugs into this using this MIDI connector it's kind of like USB for the Flintstones then we get to where all of it happens oh god I can't get out of here now so there's a board that's right over here where it all begins this is the thing that translates the messages from the keyboard into trigger commands and that triggers the Furbies and the Furby boards telling them to play a note and do what they have to do. <laughs> then there's a wire that goes from each of those lights over to each line of circuits. Each Furby has these two microchips, they're called Arduino Nanos, and you can program these to do a lot of things. And these microchips are basically telling the Furby's brain what to do, as well as sending it a constant pitch to make it sing a note in tune. Each Furby is connected by eight wires, all in one line. And then they're stuck on with Velcro, so they're easy to remove if they break. So yeah, these poor little blighters have a load of wires coming out the back. And these are soldered to its brain, some of the sensors and the speaker so it's able to add sound and take sound away from the Furby. All in all making a harmonious nightmare machine. 
I've always liked Furbies, old and new, because for a toy, they're actually pretty damn advanced. They've got so many sensors, they could do so many things, and they've got like a motor that does loads of cool stuff. Even the new ones are amazingly interesting. I've seen loads of people do crazy things on the internet, and recently I've even tried to have a bit of a tinker around with what's in there and try and make them musical. So this is probably not the last time you're gonna see Furbies being put to use in musical inventions. And I thoroughly recommend if you've got ideas with Furbies or any other battery powered toys for instance, you should just try them. So yeah, I've been Look Mum No Computer. There's a fair few more projects in the pipeline. So please stick around, maybe check out a Patreon and yeah, I'll see you next time.